Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Hufi News. Today is the 30th day of May 2021. We are going to give you all one possible thing that could make Ripple win its case against the SEC or the case that the SEC has against Ripple. We're going to talk about that today and then we're going to break down where we're expecting the price to go for XRP. Also, that we can ensure that we are in position to win in the market. So if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. You can hit the like button, share and subscribe. If you want to join us on our team, build this community of individuals who is literally focused in on the price chart so that we can dominate the market and get into position to win. So real quick, let's talk about this article real quick, something that I ran across here and I felt, you know, you all may want to understand what could be one thing that would allow XRP to win the case that the SEC has against it. And this is the one thing right here that this article goes into. It talks about how Ripple can win on fair notice, right? I went through this article. I already highlighted some things that I felt is important. I will leave the link to this article in the description of this video. Y'all wanna read more about it. But real quick, the fair notice defense, it argues that the firm, which in this particular case would be Ripple, had no reasonable fair notice from the SEC on whether selling their token, the XRP cryptocurrency, would constitute an illegal securities offering, meaning that the SEC never came to Ripple and say, look, what you all may be doing could be illegal securities offering. You're offering this particular type of instrument to the market illegally for the most part. That's the argument that Ripple needs to go on with. The regulator talking about the SEC has motioned to strike that out the defense of Ripple. And his main argument seems to be that Ripple cannot even raise a fair notice defense. Okay. Now, what if Ripple in fact wins on the fair notice defense? What kind of impact would that have on the cryptocurrency space as a whole? It becomes persuasive authority for any crypto company the SEC sues from this point forward. Meaning that if Ripple wins on fair notice, the SEC can't go against another cryptocurrency uh, company or protocol trying to say that they have been offering illegal securities into the market. They can't do that if Ripple wins on this fair notice defense. They can't. If the fair notice defense survives and Ripple wins, the SEC is going to have an uphill battle winning any other lawsuit they bring. Now, even if Ripple loses this fair notice defense, they can still appeal that ruling from the SEC. Now, if it does get appealed and the appellate court determines that Judge Torres was wrong and that Ripple did not have fair notice, then the SEC is really screwed up. They are really in trouble because that ruling is binding on every cryptocurrency lawsuit that comes next. That's massive. Now, this is the hook, though. OK, listen to this. For the most part, the SEC will not be able to bring any more cryptocurrency lawsuits understandably the sec gets paid or they get paid off of the cases that they win if that happens the sec is funded by those fines that they take these companies to court with and such from these lawsuits now you want to read in between the lines okay if the sec gets funded off of the fines that they take these cases to court with and they win and earlier i just told you that if Ripple wins on the fair notice defense, then the SEC cannot bring any other cryptocurrency lawsuits to the market, to the courts. They can't do it, which would cut off the spigot of their funding. So you think about it. Do you really think the market or the courts would allow Ripple to win on the fair notice defense if the SEC is funded off of the funds that it receives from the court cases? That seems highly unlikely, but we'll see the market, the courts, we'll see which one will take the high moral role, whether it's going to be the courts or whether or not they're going to be more determinant on the funding aspect of how the SEC gets paid. Now, like I said, I'll leave this article in the description of this video, the link, and uh, you guys can read upon more about it if you want. But I just felt that that was interesting. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. So now let's talk about what we're really here and focus in on which is the price and where the market is going to go for xrp you guys can see right here that we did a price prediction in the market in ripple and we expected the market price to go higher it was on uh, may the 26 2021 and since then it hasn't even gone higher not at all 
the market continuing to show the weakness in XRP. And one thing that I'm going to do and adjust is the support area for XRP. I'm gonna bring it down here because this is where the market really wants to come in and grab that support. And it wasn't up here to where we originally had it. So that's the only thing I'm really gonna change. And we're gonna see if the market has enough momentum still to give us some strength or should we just cut the loss and still anticipate the market in XRP to go lower? So let's do this real quick. I wanna start out uh, looking at the market on the weekly time frame, And as you all can tell, yes, we're still seeing some weakness into the market in XRP on a weekly perspective. I mean, we have the ability for XRP to go higher in price, but we're still not seeing that being maintained. And that is something that we don't wanna see if we're really looking for the market to go higher, okay? So let's take a look at this on a three day time frame as well. You guys can see here that we're getting a probable uh, precursors of strength. The volume is extremely light. So what I'm really getting here into the market in XRP is not necessarily um, a continuation of movement of a massive downtrend to occur. Now, you can see that we on our last video, we identified the overall trend into the market in XRP is either there or it's here, okay? So we can actually pinpoint where the market in XRP is aimed to try to grab some more support, okay? Which is around this vicinity here, okay? So what I'm going to do, rather than hold this market here in XRP around 80 cents, we really need to focus in on this trend, okay? So let's go ahead and take away these lines here. And we're gonna hold the market here for XRP. No lower can we see this price go below that ascended line, okay? Because if we do, we're definitely not going to expect the market in XRP to go higher throughout the rest of 2021, okay? This would be the prime area to see the market in XRP come and grab support. Right now, we're still in that bottom weakness. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that last price prediction that we did into the market in XRP and say that it was wrong. It was incorrect. The market definitely did not give us any indication of continuation of strength from our video on May the 26th. So it wasn't a good forecast for us. So taking that out now, that would be about 13 or 14 percent loss into the market. OK, so now let's see what the market looks like on a three day time frame in here. I really won't become bullish into the market in XRP or expecting the price to resume to some higher prices until price breaks up above this one dollar area okay that's it so we're going to continue to expect this market in xrp to trade sideways and it's going to be in between one dollar maybe even dollar ten as restriction all the way back down here to 80 cents that's that consolidation range that i'm expecting to occur into the market in xrp now we've had our opportunity to see this market in xrp go higher and for it to be sustained and it hasn't right we're still seeing the weakness come through into the market for xrp this is on this is the monthly price bar in xrp we got a day and nine hours left and generally i'm still expecting us to see some weakness right i'm not bearish in the sense that i'm looking for the market to crash or to plummet but there's still weakness that we got to be aware of and i'm gonna be the one to tell you if that's the case I'm not going to give you all the bells and the whistles and the rainbows and the cupcakes when the market is definitely not reflecting that. So I'm still expecting some weakness to come through into the market in XRP. I'm not extremely bearish in the sense of the word, but rather within that statement of being weak, I'm looking for the market to also trade sideways. OK, so I'm not looking for the price to go higher. So the outcome that we can see into the market in XRP is literally this continuation of movement sideways and i'm pretty much going to play that in the market for xrp okay so now i'm going to hold the ultimate restriction area around a dollar ten even though i already mentioned i can see one dollar being restriction there too but we're going to play this here into the market in xrp let me know where do you all think the market in xrp is going to go do you think we're going to go lower do you think we're going to go higher do you think we're just going to trade sideways and let us know about what you think about the fair notice defense that Ripple can actually pull up and use against the SEC. And do you think it will work? Do you think it will go through? Just let us know. And that's it. Make sure you always maintain a profitability, though. Join this community. Join this team because we're here 
to ensure we are in position to win into the market. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.